Hello everyone and welcome back to Jurassic Park Builder! We are here on our little corner of Jurassic Park Island where Tracy and Nyssa, our lovely ladies, are guarding the entrance and they are doing an absolutely fantastic job of greeting our new guests. And oh my goodness, do I have some surprises for you guys. I have been working very, very, very hard in the background and behind the scenes, pruning all the flowers, gathering all the coins, getting all the bucks. Look at that, we're almost at 200 bucks. And that is almost entirely from winning aquatic tournaments, which is where we are going to be headed off to very shortly. And do I ever have a surprise in the aquatic area to share with you. I am so excited. But first things first, we need to go around and collect up. Oh my goodness, so noisy. All my little ones, they're so noisy. <laughs> oh, and there's Tiny. We're going to collect up some more coins and we might be spending some of those coins to try to get some of our quests done pretty soon. Let me go ahead and finish gathering them up. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, look at our little Gallimimus, or dry, dry, Dryosaurus. There we go. I can't believe that he is already up at uh, max level. We've maxed out so many of our creatures. And I actually think that's a big part of why I can never win Jurassic Fights anymore. I think the more maxed out creatures you go in with, the harder the bot fights get. And they just totally kick my rump now. I just cannot win in Jurassic for anything. But I think that's also because we don't really have a lot of top tier fighters anymore. We've got Tiny and that's kind of it. None of the other golds. Nissa's pretty strong, but none of the other golds are really that strong. And you need like a solid, strong team for each and every level. Whereas in the aquatic zone, we are doing absolutely fantastic. And I'm just going to pop. We're going to go to the glacier first. We're going to hold out for the surprise. But we... um have been doing really fantastic in aquatic because we don't have that many high level creatures and I think that actually can be somewhat to your benefit. Alright, let's come in here. There you go guys, don't worry, don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you guys. I just don't really have a lot of money to invest in you guys just yet. Uh, I feel kind of bad about that though. So can we at least do like one info igloos, place a torch, Red flower patches. I could probably pull at least one of those things off. Let's see. Okay, the torch I think we can that we can pull off. So we'll put down a torch to kind of help everybody warm up. There we go. Okay, found it. It was buried under the snow. I don't even know what was buried under the snow at this point. Oh, look at this. Can you hear me, Kelly? I'm afraid I haven't fiddled much with the video conferencing since our arrival. I can hear you just fine. Wow, you didn't waste, waste any time in setting up the glacier park. When can I visit? Sooner than you think. As a matter of fact, I have a proposition for you. Oh dear. Place the security bureau. Collect 3,000 coins from buildings. Upgrade the crops harbor for a conference call. In anticipation of Kelly's arrival, let's make sure she receives a proper welcome. And that's why we're putting a security place down. That almost sounds like we're ready to slap her in handcuffs or something like that. That's hilarious. Look at this glacier melt river running beneath the earth. Judging by its current, the water shows no signs of freezing despite the temperature in the air. Undercurrent. We'll search this glacier melt for any interesting samples to bring back home. Now that I can definitely get behind. Collecting mysterious specimen samples? Totally something I would enjoy doing. This isn't like sifting through sand in the Arizona desert, mind you. No, this would be like... I would pref I don't know. Would I prefer freezing glacier water? Or would I prefer the bare, like, endless heat of the Arizona sun and the terrifying Arizona wasp? I am not sure which one I would really rather take on. Hmm. Hmm, what would you guys take on? Would you prefer the Arizona desert and its venomous creatures and that terrifying, like, Arizona hawk wasp or something like that? Or would you prefer the very, very cold glacial area with the glacial melt? Hmm. And now he wants a rock painting. Well, how much is a rock painting? I mean, we could just like stick it over here. And I guess we should put a rock painting down because it really isn't fair. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to do it. Just get out of the way. And now we've got a new, new little thing. No good. The chopper isn't cleared to land. Pilot says there's too much clutter on the ground. Move a building and sell a decoration. Are you kidding me? I just purchased these decorations. Well, how much was my little dodo decoration? Because, you know what? Okay, I'm going to sell a dodo decoration then. Honestly. Well, there we go. Is that is that going to... 
Oh, we need to move a building, I think. All right, move. There we go. Okay, stand back. The chopper's about to land. Oh, we actually got a fair bit of money for that. Oh, you've got to hear the sound of this engine, Dr. Grant. Let me tell you, this 4x4 can really growl. Oh my gosh. I can barely hear you on this frequency. Where are you now? I told you, I'm in the air. The pilot says we touch down in 30 minutes. Meet me in the village. El, El Chateau. <laughs> got it? Sorry, too much static. Can't hear you. Uh-oh. Uh, what did you say? We'll need a place to place a distinct landmark on the ground so that Dr. Mountain and I can rendezvous at the same point. I'll tell you, I'll let you handle it. Place an inflatable saber tooth and place two red flower patches. I am so glad we did that because we have to place three red flower patches for her and they are freaking expensive. So now we have managed to get ourselves uh, all the way up to where we can hit two quests with one stone in the future though. Because now we are going to be wiggling over to the aquatic zone and I am going to show you guys the amazing new additions that we have added in. I'm so excited and so proud. It has been hard to get everybody here. Oh yes, and our our expedition is back. And what do we have? Shrimp! More shrimp for our little crust of ores. And we're gonna go ahead and send out another free expedition. And we're gonna gather up our stuff from the crop harbor. Everybody's doing great. Our dermas are now maxed out. They are now officially level 40 creatures. I am so proud of them. Basil's doing great. Tri is doing great. This is our hard hitting team that keeps just sweeping the floor and winning everything. I absolutely adore and love them. They're doing fantastic. Uh, everybody else, they're just doing pretty good, doing their own thing. Just being, being who they are, just little guys. And like I said, I have a theory that actually having the lower level guys helps a little bit with the aquatic tournaments. Because then you don't get thrust into battles you can't really back up. But check this out. Check this out. You guys ready for this? We have the Mosasaurus! We have him! He is right here! Look at him! Look at how cool its exhibit is! I mean, look at that! Look at that, the Mosasaurus has the neatest exhibit because it's got this really cool, like, fallen statue in it. He looks awesome. I think Tri looks cooler, but maybe once we, we get this guy evolved, we'll think that he looks even cooler. So I'm really excited. I managed to invest some bucks. So we had bucks from winning the tournaments. I invested some bucks in doing uh, the, like, all three expedition teams go out and rushing it. And it took about three or four times of rushing it. And I was really starting to go, oh my gosh, I'm spending all my bucks when we got him. And then I was like, oh, so I'm going to go ahead and turn him into an egg and open him with you guys. And then I accidentally clicked on him earlier today and I was like, darn it, but he's here. Look at him. He's just a little teensy baby right now. We've also expanded this area back here so we can start thinking about building our little Atlantis underwater city place. Pretty excited about that. I really can't wait to start adding in more decorations. Aquatic zone is kind of going to be my main focus for a while because it's awesome. Clearing this area out too so we can continue adding more like coral reefs and we can start building more buildings and we can move the Mosasaurus away from the city because <laughs> I don't think we want the strongest aquatic animal in the game right next to my city. But we've also been saving up a ton of food, a ton of fish, a ton of crustaceans. And so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to feed our little Mosasaur. Here we go. Oh, he's ready to fight now. Look at him go. Oh, his gold level beauty. Look at that. So he is now up to 328 in attack. He's doing pretty good in his ferocity, I should say. So he's already outstripped Basil, and Basil's level 30. Oh my gosh. This might change the name of the game a little bit, you guys. Oh my goodness. All right, is everybody else fully fed? I think that you, yeah, you could use a little more food. So let's feed you. Oh my gosh, we just tore through like 100,000 100, things of shrimp. Oh my goodness. Wow, so it was kind of like a shrimp buffet for our little aquatic guys, but we got that taken care of. This guy could use some fish. So let's go ahead and feed him up all the way. And hopefully we didn't upset the balance of being able to win the aquatic tournaments too much. But Basil, dang, you're no longer like in third place, buddy. He is still in third place on attack, though. The ferocity of this guy doesn't quite back up how much damage he can do just yet. So Basil can still do twice as much damage. So Basil, you're probably still in third place right now, but oh my goodness, that was awesome. That was totally awesome. 
I, I, and we have already fully upgraded the Crustacean Harbor, so we can't even get any more for quite a while. But let's go ahead and let's see, have four coral plates, what missions we have here. Place two small coral patches. All right. Re place two repair bays, have four medium sculptures. Place 12 tracks. Oh, we can do that easy. Let's just go ahead and get those tracks down real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go. That should do the trick. Thanks. Oh, look at that piddly amount of money he gave us. Best flipper forward. The chairman should see how hard we've worked so far. Have the animals scrubbed down and ready to shine in the aquarium tonight. All right, so we need to level up a sea creature. Well, fudge to the knuckles. We were just doing that. Collect from the marine turbine three times and sell a decoration. <sighs> what is with these people and always wanting to sell my hard-earned decorations? All right, hang on. We gotta wait for the marine turbine to collect. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. Ha, there. So we got that one at least. And let's see, four more coral plates, or two more small coral patches, repair bays and sculptures. Let's do the repair bays and sculptures for now. Because, let's see, a security complex, a observation deck, repair bay. And we can, we can say these are going to be kind of like, um, well, we could put the repair day bay kind of, well, we'll put it, we'll put it kind of down here and I'll say this these are kind of like the spots where the people's private submarines for those who want to be privileged enough to live in our under underwater undersea they're both at once <laughs> community get to come so there's the repair bays and then he wants some sculptures eh what sculptures do we have to pick from so far I don't know if the small fossil counts there's the small coral patch so we can put those down in just a minute there's a medium sculpture that's really pretty. There's a beautiful giant seashell. <gasps> Look at all of these. Oh, they're so gorgeous. There's the pebble garden. There's the rock formation. Does that count as a sculpture? I bet it doesn't. There's the ruins. The driftwood garden is so beautiful. Look at these underwater plants. Oh my gosh. I love these. They're just so pretty. Oh my goodness, oh, an underwater temple, a crashed airplane. Oh my gosh, what's the giant sculpture look like? Can we peek at it? Big sculpture. Ooh. All right, so I think that means we need to put down pretty much, there's a giant clam. Wow, that's cool. There's so many cool things in here. A couple medium sculptures is the, the feel I'm getting. So one, how many, how many sculptures did we need for him? Four, four medium sculptures is what he wants. Good grief. Well, we'll give him two for now. Can I put this next to that? Yeah, we'll put it right here. I'm going to give him two medium sculptures for now. And then we're going to go ahead and spend a little bit of our money on the coral plates and the small coral patches. So let me see. Coral plates. Oh, everything's so expensive. Oh my gosh. Well, there's one of the small... Oh, there we go. Yes, we found something. Astounding, and it's it's a, a 19th century coin. I'll keep this for good luck. The color and the light. The way the sunlight reflects in the water is uh, simply beyond words. <laughs> He's saying uh, a lot right now. It's one of life's great, great color shows. Have two small fossils. Collect 1,000 coins from the Megalodon Diner. Oh, that's going to take forever. It's not like it collects a lot. It makes, like... 200 coins every 30 minutes. Oh my goodness. All right. So what do we need now? Four coral plates. Sell a decoration. Two small fossils. Man. Oh man. Coral plates. Why? Coral plates. Why so expensive? I guess I need to put it up here. That would make the most sense. There we go. But I've saved up the money intending to be able to spend it on our absolutely awesome aquatic animals. So I don't begrudge them this too much. All right, and then if I can actually scoot you down here a little bit, my dear friend, and get one last coral plate put in. Boom, there we go. You're back, thanks. I hope my leg heals up soon or else it will slow us down for sure. I wonder what happened to her leg, I don't remember. Next problem, my foot is lodged. Oh, apparently. 
he, she's in a, a sub and she's collapsed. So the sub is collapsed on her and wow, that's really terrifying. I'm glad she's able to keep such a cheerful smile on her face as she's pinned in a submarine that has collapsed under the ocean. I would be a little bit agitated if I were her. Just saying, just saying, I would, I would be a little bit agitated. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put down some green seaweed because she wants some green seaweed, because why not? And guess what, then we can turn around when we're done putting the green seaweed down and sell it because that is what I think her dad wants. Somebody wants us to sell a decoration as soon as we put it down. These silly people. No, that would be the, um, that would actually be our paleontologist who wants us to sell it. All right, how many did she want? Six little patches? I think she wanted six little patches. And then we'll stop and go battle because we are getting so close, you guys. So freaking close. Eh, almost. All right, come here. Come here, little patch of beautiful greenery. Let's get you down here. And right there. Yes, and that's done. And now I'm going to turn around and sell this. And that's done. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 Now we just need to level up a sea creature, which we will do in the future. So that is all POW, my friends, and we are ready to go into the tournaments. So are you ready for this? We're going to do it. We're going to dive in, and we're going to do it, and hopefully I didn't mess up the balance too much by adding our awesome Mosasaurus in here. But look, we are 10 out of 15. 10 out of 15. Whew, have the genetic points and there's two battles coming up in the next hour So we're gonna enter this one and I'm gonna do my best to hopefully be able to win us That special little sea snail guy because I think that would be such a cool addition to our aquatic zone Oh, look at the puppy. Oh and a kitty. It's cats versus dogs Dun 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 All right, so let's go ahead. Whoops. Ah dang it. I'm gonna have to watch that. I may have messed up already because uh, I hope I didn't mess up already. All right, well, let's go ahead. We're going to dive in. I think we get to go first. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I wonder if I can pull this off. You know what? I'm not going to risk it too much. I'm going to go with a team that I know is tried and true. And I, I pretty much throw Basil and Derma at everything now. And they do very, very well. Basil and Derma uh, fight my two main fights, and then we lead on into try going through our last fights. Oh, the Megalodon, isn't it so awesome? They're probably gonna block this attack. Oh, they didn't. Normally that attack is blocked, but don't mind us if we get to do a little damage. The first fish right here is going to be our bait fish, and this is exactly what I want. I want someone to come in and use their specials up before we get to Basil and Derma, because they're the two who are gonna carry us to victory. The good news is this guy is kind of hefty enough now that he he can kind of hold his own pretty well. All right, let's come in here. I want my little snailfish. I want my DNA points. All right. Hello, little guy. This little brat, I don't like this guy because he's a pain in the rump to fight, in my opinion. He's one of the most annoying to fight. Oh, we're not getting any, like, drickets, dricklets. Are you okay, pup pup? I'm gonna go ahead and block. Ha, I knew it. And I bet there's gonna be some frantic blocking coming up on their side next. All right, so let's go ahead and smack. I love the Lathavan. I would love to get one of them. See, frantic blocking. I would love to get one of these guys in the future. That would just be so much fun. Ooh, they used their special earlier than I thought they would, but we'll be fine. Come on, DNA points, come on. Come on, DNA points, come on. All right, let's go ahead and swipe. And frantic blocking, not too worried. Ooh, that was a pretty good nibble. Poor Basil. All right, let's try swiping again. And now they are open prey. We're probably gonna lose Basil right here, not even worried, because Derma is gonna come in and clear the floor. Boom. All right, the Lethavan's gonna come in. I don't even think we need to worry. Yeah, we don't even need to worry about this. I don't think we even need to like use any of our specials. Boink. Nope. <laughs> Derma, I love you, you wonderful turtle you. You're fantastic. All right, so we've already invested about 40-ish bucks into this. 
and so I try to keep an eye on that. We spend a lot of bucks to fight well, but that's because I'm out for the DNA points right now. That's our, our big arching goal is DNA points. Ooh, we get to go first again. Hello, Carla. Oh, we didn't get to fight the kitty. I really wanted to like fight the cat. All right, oh good, sweet. Um, am I gonna leave Basil out of this? I think I'm gonna save my points and leave Basil out of this and see if we can pull this off. All right, Mosasaurus, this is your very first time out in the ring. Let's see what you're made of, buddy. So this will be interesting. All right, so a biter, and then I think a smacker and a biter. That's how I classify them for attacks. No, this is a smacker. You can tell because it has kind of like the uh, the leg body shape. Hello, can I greet you? Oops, I wanted a nicer greeting than that. It's so embarrassing when you greet somebody with something that aggressive and you're trying to say, hi, I hope you're having a good time. And it comes out like, I hope you brought your A game. I'm going to own you. Yeah, no, that's not what I meant. I'm so sorry, ma'am. <laughs> That's right, use up your blocks now. The more blocks that get used up now, the more everybody else becomes open bait. All right, is this another block? Nope. But this little guy, the Mosasaurus, doesn't really do a lot of damage, it seems. So I'm gonna have to keep my eye out on him. So let's go ahead and we'll give him a chance with some specials and see what he does. All right, come on, buddy. Oh, of course she would choose that time to use her block. <sighs> Mosasaurus, if you throw this fight for me, I'm gonna have some, some key words. Oh, you, come on. We can do this. Come on. Now she's wide open and exposed, so we can definitely do this. So let's try this again, buddy. I guess he is level 10, so this is asking a lot to find the all-star rank when he's just a little, a little 10. Oh, buddy, I'm gonna swap you out at this rate. I wouldn't mind if she used her special attack to, to take you out when you're behaving like this. And I mean that nicely, little Mosasaurus, but come on. All right, at least we can clear out one guy. There we go. Come on, use your special attack. I just don't like this guy. He's, he looks like a crafty little crocodilian to me, and I know he's not. I know that's 100% incorrect, but that's just what he reminds me of. All right, come on, Derma. Let's protect everybody from losing this. Fantastic. Good job, Derma. All right. Are you going to use your special? Yep, but we're going to be okay. I'm so excited. I hope we do this. So then Try is going to come in and be absolutely fantastic because Try is always fantastic. And we will be yet one more step closer. Boom. Not bad. We will be one more step closer to being able to get to the little Bacalite or whatever, however you pronounce it. My little shell squid. I want my shell squid. There's something about being so hyper-focused over the course of three days to earn up enough DNA points to get the shell squids. I woke up like at three in the morning last night because it was raining and I stayed awake long enough to try to get more DNA points. <laughs> All right, we're in the final round. Let's see if we can pull this off. This is my usual team right here that we normally have lined up. Try is always at the end and hopefully we'll be able to pull this off okay. Yeah, we should be all right. Go, try, go. Go, try, go. Try is not even level 40 yet. Try is currently level 30. I'm putting off evolving him uh, to the next level until after the DNA point event is over. I only get this excited when it's DNA point events that have to do with, um, boink. Not bad, not bad little leads that have to do with aquatic creatures, to be honest. <laughs> That's just going to be my specialty because I love it. The battles are beautiful. The animations are gorgeous. And that actually is exactly what we wanted is using up special attacks and blocks now. That's what these two bait fish are for. Is to try to draw those elements out so that Try kind of has like a clear open line that he can just go in. Alright, let's smack again. Good. Wonderful. 
Alright, almost there, almost there. Alright, try your turn. Now that we've cleared away some of the blocks, down she goes. I don't really have to protect Try in this, to be honest, but I will a little bit. Does Bite work good against you? I think that this guy's actually weakest. Yeah, not against Bite, but by being tail smacked. Whoops. I missed it. I knew that was coming too, but we should be fine. Look at his little curly jaw. I just can't be afraid of him because he's so derpy. Like, how do you eat like that? How is that a thing? All right, let's go ahead and smack him if he's not blocked. All right, and we are down to our little torpedo tuna looking fish dude. Is he going to make a whirlpool? <gasps> I love the fish nados. They're so cool. Look at that. And Tri should be able to endure it just fine, too. Yeah, he's fine. So she's going to use a block next. And we're just going to go smack. If they're smart, they'll use a smack. Yeah, smack. And we've... we've <laughs> that did nothing. So we have got this in the bag. So here we go, you guys. Boom. I could use attacks, but why bother when we know that we, we don't need them to win? And we save our fang points. As you can see, I've been frantically saving them. In the hopes that maybe one day we can win another Jurassic battle. But I, I lose every time at Jurassic battles now, so I don't even try. And there we go, you guys! We have just won another one of our tournaments. Not that impressed with Mosasaurus just yet, but we'll try leveling him up and seeing what happens. Choom, 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 choom. Look at us go! And in half an hour, I'll be able to do it again. And we have got another DNA rescue. Let's see how much closer we are to being able to get our little Bakalite. Or whatever he is. My shell squid. <gasps> We're almost close enough! Oh, that's so exciting! That's so exciting! Oh my goodness! Alright, we're getting really close, really close to adding him to our family. So I'm pretty, pretty excited. Whew. But alright guys, so there we go. The aquatic zone is really, truly growing. We are saving up money and we are getting some of the new creatures. We are expanding. We are coming up with more things to add in, more things to do. And in fact, I kind of want to add in a new building. Let's do that. Last, last thing we'll do is add in another building to kind of celebrate. Ooh, there's a shopping mall and a theater and a power vent and an infirmary. Mm, let's put down another underwater com condo complex because I feel like that would be pretty important. Let's put down a couple of those because if we want to have like a city, we need places for them to live. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and what else do we have in here? Let's put in a fancy eating area too. That seems like something that needs to be over here. And finally, just to top it all off, to be a little bit excessive, ooh, look at that hotel. I'm going to put in a big old hotel over here, right on the edge of the abyss. Boom. So we've got more of our aquatic city being built too. Perfect. Well, that went fantastic. And I cannot wait to see what else we start adding in as time goes on and we get our awesome aquatic team leveled up. Because Try is probably really ready. Try and Basil are probably ready to go up to level. Or star three, I should say. And we'll have to pull that off once they're done fighting in the DNA tournaments. So hopefully, next time you see us, we will have our little shell squids. And we can celebrate and be very excited. And I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.